Hi there guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on the best way to describe this would be a cartoon effect. It's commonly known throughout the forums as a top hat effect because it's very easily achieved with top hat. And basically it's taking an image like this and then turning it into a cartoon. Nice. It's actually really simple to do and you don't need top hat labs to do it. And that's the whole idea of this tutorial is for the people that don't have top hat. So, first of all, you got to do a bit of image preparation. You don't have to spend too much on it. It depends on the kind of effect you want to do. Obviously, you spend more time on it, the better effect you're going to get. But when you're working with the black people, you want to try and reduce these highlights. If you're working with white people, you want to reduce the shadows. And you'll see why after about stage three or four of the tutorial. So what you're going to do is come to here and do an adjustment level and just take the highlights down up a bit leave it in and then you just can just basically flatten out the image a bit obviously it doesn't really matter if he's got a white jersey on and then you can merge that down and you're going to duplicate that layer so you've always got a layer to work back on and you can fade it out afterwards if you don't like the actual effect or if you think it's too strong as your process processing the image okay there's still a bit you can work on there so you can, let's just create a new layer just grab the claim brush out and we're not going to do too much so we're just going to set it about 50% using the soft brush I'm just going to sample around here so you're going to lower it down to about 30% and just take out some of that highlight shadow because otherwise you'll get a really wonky streak going down his forehead. You'll still get a bit of that. I've not really put the effort into this to prepping up, but this is showing you the techniques used. Again, so you've got that layer there. Then you want to come up to here, go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Now, on your images, do not copy this exactly as I'm doing it because it all depends on resolution. But you kind of just want to get it so you've got a lot of detail and I know it's looking opposite to what you want to do but this all depends on how much of the effect you want to take it so once you've got that that's the hard bit of the image done really it's just fine tuning now because you want to come over here and grab the smudge tool it might be hidden underneath the blur tool and you want to set that to about let's put about 25% then just literally what you can do is just paint over with as little mouse clicks as possible because that's just going to cause all this stylization you've got going on here and as I said that's your highlights that's why you want to try and reduce the highlights and shadows as much as possible because that's where this effect fails and just literally drag in you can start seeing now you're starting to get the cartoon effect but you're still maintaining details zoom in there you've got to be careful not to distort his face too much just you don't want to make him look too weird or like Mr. T from the 18 and you're basically just losing all the detail you can see now his cheeks are pretty much perfect his head could do a bit of working on just that highlight so you just smudge it over a bit the highlights actually add to the effect so you don't want to do it too much but you don't want it to look like someone's drawn on his forehead but this is the hard bit to get doing to just keep blending it in. And then we can touch that up later with a different brush. But you just don't want these lines coming across here and you try and push them all together somewhere.
and it's not worth doing the hair detail on this image because you can't really see the hair. Okay, and he's going to work onto his neck. I'm not going to do his jersey because technique and just doing it on white is just not going to do anything really. Okay, let's get down to his arm. And make sure you go beyond the edges because otherwise you'll just have a sharp outline. When you're looking in at it, it looks really blurred and out of focus, but it sort of works either way. I mean, when you spend more time in, you push all the details back. That's a good thing about smudge tool. You're moving the pixels. But you don't want to take away all the shadows because then you'll lose his muscle definition. And you don't want that. It's a bit harder if you've got, like, hairy areas because then you're smudging the hair into it. So it just looks like people are drawing on him then, but... If you've got the right set brush with your smudge tool, if you use a nice soft edge and just keep going over it, the hair soon disappears with all the detail. Um, on this image, those fingers are going to look terrible once it's done anyway, but they look terrible if it's not done. So we'll try and touch them up. And that's why you don't want your smudge tool too strong because you will just move the pixels too much okay let's just move on to this side there's also the level of detail you want to keep it's obviously subjective to the picture if you're doing this on a low resolution image you're not going to get these kind of results not without a lot of work and repainting it in afterwards but like with anything in Photoshop this is just one way to do it and there's more ways to do it and there's more ways to get more detail if you want more detail, if you want less detail, if you want cartoon effect I'm just going to try and straighten up that jersey a bit, there you go Just take that hair away from there. And take away some of the weird smudge lines. As you can see, that is basically your work done. You've gone from that to that in just a couple of minutes. Then it's a case of just fine tuning it. Now you can either do maybe get a soft low opacity brush, uh, maybe put it to darken, if it's about 10%. You can maybe just remove some of those highlights. You don't want to do it too much because if you keep clicking, that's you're going to get that. So, I don't know if that will show up on the video, I don't know what to show up in full detail, but you just, you know, just brush over, um, hopefully, just remove maybe the, some of the unnatural streaks we get in it, just balance it, it out more. I'm just going to add a slightly different effect to it in a second as well because I don't know what just done. Oh, yeah, I went way over the top there. But save so you merge this down. So you've got that so you can copy this background image again and you can just bring it on top 
maybe just change the blending mode and I mean that's not essential but it just evens out the image a bit more and it can it also brings in the back some of like the skin detail on the arms if you don't want it all like that but it just gets rid of some of the streakiness you just got to get it to a level that suits your image but this way you've brought back that scar there so it still looks pretty cool his head looks pretty cool like that okay so if you just say merge these layers now and then you can just duplicate that one and this is the final touch which people use a slight different effect but people use it and it's just going to the the oil paint I personally don't like this effect too much on it but if you just you can really turn stylization down and clean this up uh, bring scale down take bristle detail right down you don't want it too and this is just fine tweaking it Let's see, just giving that a real extra bit of cleanliness to it. If you had to shine, you'll get this fractalious type of look, but I don't want that detail. But I do want the nice clean face. Okay, so then now, obviously, going from there to there, you can see you've lost a lot of detail but you can either set out to the luminosity it will bring it back and maybe just fade it out just a little bit on the opacity and just like that you've got an image that's gone from that to that quite easily you've got the cartoony effect it's nice clean smooth crisp and I hope that answers the question on how to achieve the cartoon effect without top house. Good luck to you and play around and fine tune techniques.